Hello, my Total Doll family, and welcome back to one of the most expensive PSA returns I will ever do. You might notice there's only four cards here, but these are the highest end cards I own. Three of them are mine, one of them is Pokedelics. These cards are all between 1,500 US and 2,500 US. So if we are to get tens, it's it's like 3,500 Canadian. It's absolutely mind blowing. Uh, Pokedelix has one card, Latias and Latios, uh, which I'm super excited for. It was ranging around 1,800 to 2,000 in a 10. In a nine, it was still 1,400 US. Oh no, was that 9.5? That was 9.5, 800, 800 US. So Pokedelix thinks he's gonna get a nine. We'll see. Uh, I have two Pikachu Edward Munch uh, cards. I think one's going to get 10. I think one's going to get an eight or nine. And then there is a Marnie from Shield Japanese base set. So uh, all huge, huge cards. Please interact with this video. Leave a like, comment down below, which is your favorite. It really helps with the algorithm and we're closing in on 5,000 subscribers. So I'd really appreciate it. And I would love to be doing more PSA openings, more graded card uh, videos as we move forward. I was not expecting this today. This came back so quickly. When you pay more, it goes faster. But let's get into this. Let's see if we are going to be tens of thousand airs. Does that make sense? All right, so my three cards are Japanese. So this is going to be Latias and Latios for Pokedelix. All right, let's clarify that. Pokedelix thinks it's gonna be a nine. I think it's gonna be a 10. Let's see. Ten! Pokedelix, let's go! You have just gotten yourself a $2,000 US card. I can't even comprehend that right now. This piece of cardboard encased in plastic will sell for $2,000 US dollars. I... <laughs> It is one of the most beautiful cards. The price just keeps going up and up and up. Congratulations, Pokedelix. That is incredible. Let's hope I have as good of luck as you. I'm gonna put that down right there. Holy cow, yes! Okay, so hopefully this is in the order we submitted because I submitted that and then the Marnie and then the Pikachu. So let's see. Oh, it is. It is the Marnie, okay. So I pulled this card. I pulled this card from Sword and Shield base when I lived in Japan. It took me so many packs. And at the time it was worth about a hundred bucks. It is worth so, so much more now. Oh, no. It's, it's still good. It's still good. It's still over a thousand dollars, which is absolutely insane. But that is, rough that's the thing about these cards it's uh it's a 10 uh, they're still good they're still but it's like a thousand dollars difference <laughs> between a 10 and a 9 wow okay all right japanese marnie uh okay i'm gonna put that down i'll put that down now the big ones now the big ones i think one of these is gonna be 10 i think the other's gonna be like seven eight nine i remember when i bought it one was like full price the other was a bit cheaper and i think it was because something was uh wrong with it so this is the edward munch pikachu a retrospective so just like the van Gogh cards that have been coming out this was one that was a promo in 2018 between the pokemon company and the uh, edward munch uh exhibit that came to tokyo Okay, so this is a bit unfortunate, but I think this is the one that had something wrong with it. I didn't think it'd get a six. Um, let's hope that uh, this was the one with uh, not great. Did you just see my energy levels just crash? <laughs> it all comes down to this. It all comes down to this. What do you think? Is it going to be a 10? Please. I'm going to regrade these if they're not. Oh. 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 Okay. So I was correct. One of them was perfect. The other one was 
not. And that was that one. Wow. Okay, so for some perspective, uh, the Pikachu as a six on here is like 700 US dollars, which is still great. That's still fantastic. Um, maybe we'll use it in a giveaway one day, you know? Maybe 50K subscribers will give away Pikachu. <laughs> We got a 10. This just keeps going up and up and up. I also like the number. 8250880. So, currently, PSA 10 has gone up since I sent this off two weeks ago. It was sitting at about 2,500 US. The last two sales have been 2,800 US. <laughs> I can be happy with that. We got two 10s. A nine and a six. We're not gonna. We're not gonna think about that one. We're not gonna do it. The thing is, though, it's absolutely worth me grading this. Absolutely, like getting this slab. These cards are getting rarer and rarer. These will just keep going up in price. Even a six, somebody will be interested in that. But this is the holy grail. Thank you so much for being here. Leave a comment down below which one of these is your favorite. And uh, if you want to see me grade some more cards, let me know down in the comments. Hopefully, some of these will help pay off the next batch that's going. And then I've got to get back to Japan at some point and pick up some more cards for grading. So thank you so much for watching. Um, wow. Wow, I am so blown away by this. Uh, we should, will have another batch coming back. We've got another 20 cards coming back. Uh, it should be another month, month and a half till those come back. But once I sell some of these and once I sell some of the other ones from a couple days ago, um, then I will send off another batch. I've got like a hundred cards ready to go that are considered bulk up to 200 US. So that'll be my next batch. So once I sell a couple of these, I'll send off that one so then I can just keep the cycle going. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have yourself an absolutely wonderful day and I will see you later for Alligator.